All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write polynomials, specifically quadratics, really, um, from roots, and not just any roots, specifically complex roots or irrational roots. So the premise is that you um, are given two irrational roots or two complex roots of a quadratic. You want to work your way back to the original quadratic. So um, it's all really based on difference of squares, actually. So let's just review that. So it's all going to be based on the fact that a plus b times a minus b gives you a squared minus b squared. Um, so let's see what I mean by that. So supposing we are given um, x equals 2 plus radical 5 and x equals 2 minus radical 5 are two of the irrational zeros of a polynomial, but we're just going to treat it like a quadratic. Um, so what I do is I start by working backwards. So I go from the zeros to um, the factors. So to get those, I must have started with x minus the quantity 2 plus radical 5 and x minus the quantity 2 minus radical 5. Now what you do is just kind of, kind of you, well, you actually are just distributing. Um, so I'm going to distribute. And you can see I started color coding here um, so that it looks a lot like a difference of squares. So what I'm doing is I'm treating um, x minus 2 as a and then radical 5 as b. And so what that means is that to multiply these, I actually just end up with a squared, so x minus 2 squared, and then minus uh, b squared, so radical 5 squared. And then this is something that's pretty easy to do. So I expand that, and then I just collect. And it makes it super easy. People who don't do this end up having to distribute a ton. Um, and we don't want to do that. We want to work kind of smarter on these problems. Uh, let's take a look at another example. So we got... Uh, 3 minus 5i and 3 plus 5i. And we got to work our way backwards. So first thing we do is we go from the zeros back to the factors. So minus. I always like to throw parentheses around there. Um, so this seems like an extra step that you probably don't need to do. Um, maybe you really don't, but uh, it's safer to do it this way. Now we distribute. And I'm going to color code again. Um, so we have this. So again, I'm looking at it as uh, a plus b and a minus b because then I can use the difference of squares. So I have... Um, x minus 3 is a, so a squared minus b squared, and then, uh, so I can expand that, I get minus, and then uh, you might remember that 5i squared is 25i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so it's really minus 25. Um, and then I just collect. And there you go, it saves you a ton of time if you recognize this and, and use this trick. It's not even a trick, I mean, it's actually math, but... Um, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.